I'm back! Dude, we gotta talk about this! Yes, sir! I am back with a new video. Now, today is actually kind of interesting because I was leading into this morning to go into a Young Avengers theory video. But, thank you to the recommendation of Supersonic Boy 62, we are doing a new Toothless POV. Also, thank you, Supersonic Boy 62, for mentioning and confirming that the Decepticons' red eye color means attack. I said they meant anger, but they mean attack, which also makes a lot of sense since they're robots, you know, attack mode. They have different modes, like emotions. And, um, let's just get right into the video, and that is the toothless POV of when he's first dating the Light Fury. So thank you, Movie Clips Fandango, for this video clip. She led me to a small beach, and there I stood, majestic and postured. I tried to play it cool, but that obviously didn't work out, as I slid down the hill and onto the beach. Yeah, real smooth. But I was just excited to see her again, and Hiccup just wanted to know what the heck was going on. Then came the tricky part. With that, she settled down. All right, she said to me. Amuse me. This was definitely something that I have never done before in front of anyone. Hiccup was trying to give me some helpful advice, but I wasn't the best at hand signatures. And she was not impressed with me at all. Hiccup tried to help me again, and he almost blew his cover in order to help me. I knew I had to do something. She wondered what I was up to. So, I did the most interesting thing that I could think of. I started to flap my wings, and a whole bunch of sand stirred up from the beach. And it almost crashed right into her. Of course, this wasn't to her liking at all. Then Hiccup tried to help me again. I think he was telling me to do some sort of dance? I wasn't sure. Us dragons don't really get the way of Norse mythology or romance, but I tried my best. And this obviously did not make things any better at all. And she was losing interest in me fast. So I did a whole bunch of interesting things that I could think of. Did they help? Absolutely not. She was horrified. And Hiccup was completely embarrassed. It was at that point that the Light Fury had had enough. Stop it! Go away! She told me. And with that, she settled down for the night. And it was at this moment in the scene when another bad idea was in play. I crept up to her, and I noticed that she was asleep. I looked to Hiccup for more advice, and everything went downhill from there. He told me that I was going to break the branch, but I thought that's what he wanted me to do. So I just went with it. I shook the branch as hard as I could, and things did not go much better for both of us. And with that, the branch broke. She was not getting any more interested in me than she already was. And it was at this point that I knew Hiccup's advice was not helping, even though he was trying to get my attention. So, I did the only thing I had left. Drawing. This had to be my best picture ever. And I knew that. It was the only thing I had left to win her favor. I was careful and precise to every last detail. And she started to grow interested. She actually liked it. And now that she was down from the tree, I could use her face as a reference. And with that, the picture was completed. 
and Hiccup was amazed. She started to step on the lines, which I very much did not like, but she didn't like that I was angry. So, I wasn't. And with that, she walked around the picture and made her way to me. It was at this point that we knew we were always destined for each other. So, a bit of a shorter video today, but Supersonic Boy 62, you deserve that video. And thank you for that recommendation. A huge shout out for you. And if you guys want to see any specific content that I do on my channel, make sure to comment them down below my videos so I can and will do those videos. So, with that said and done, uh, subscribe to the Dragon Clan family to not miss out on my future videos and giveaways. Make sure to give this video a like if you are a fan of everything How to Train Your Dragon and want to see more POVs. Because let me tell you something, even though I have done a lot, I do intend to do more of those videos in the future. So, there you go. And share with your friends if you want to see them react to this POV. And also comment down below, do you or do you not think this was in Toothless's mind when this scene happened. And that's pretty much it. Respect for all you guys out there. Peace out.